Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be trying out this Savvy Land Rainbow Poly Gel Kit. I already applied the tips and prepped. So here's what it looks like. The packaging is gorgeous. It looks like a box of chocolate. So it comes with these dual forms. I think it only comes with 10, but that's okay because you can reuse them. Um, a spatula and brush. It's a double-ended tool. A nail file, some base coat and top coat. Also some slip solution. And now with the colors, it comes with purple. Red. Black. Blue. Orange, green, and yellow. I also got this dapping dish from Wish and I used it a couple times in my videos but I forgot to mention it. So I'm also going to be using my McCart Soft Nude for this look. And as you can see I'm applying my base coat gel. And as you guys saw in the thumbnail, I'm going to be doing another French tip design. I know you guys are probably sick and tired of me doing French tip. Um, if you, I want to do more things, but I just don't know what to do. So my Instagram is on the screen, so go follow me and then you can DM me whatever nail design you want me to do. So this nail look is heavily, heavily, heavily inspired by Nails by Vic. In her video on her trying out this kit, she did um, a V French tip with like alternator, alternating colors. So I wanted to do that, but I didn't want to copy her completely. So I'm doing a regular French tip and I'm marbling out the French tip. So since I've done like hundreds of French tip videos, you guys already know how to do it. So just shape up the nail bed and then cure it. And then after that, we're going to file it. I'm actually gonna make the nail bed a little bit more narrow because I did it the last time and they came out really pretty. So I'm gonna do that again. So I repeated that process to all the nails. Now I'm going to file it so it's a more, you know, crisp. But first you always have to wipe off the surface using either slip solution or isopropyl alcohol. So now I'm taking two colors. I'm taking orange and red and I'm putting it on the French tip and then taking my dotting tool, dipping it into the slip solution just so the poly gel won't stick too much to it and I'm swirling it around randomly it's there's no like real way to do this you're just kind of going with the flow after I've swirled it enough I'm just taking my brush and just patting it down with some slip solution and you don't really want to swipe you want to pat down and 
because this is um, a marble design you are going to have to encapsulate later with clear poly gel so you want to make sure that there's no like orange or red on the nail bed part you want to make sure that part is really clean and that's actually really easy to achieve because it's poly gel not acrylic if it was acrylic this would be a really annoying process and that's why I chose not to do acrylic So I'm going to repeat that same exact process, but I'm going to be doing orange and yellow on this finger. So I'm going to try to incorporate all the colors in the kit on my hand today, except for black because I didn't know how to incorporate that. And I felt like if I tried to incorporate the black, it would like stain the whole thing and mess it up. So I'm just using like the rainbow colors, not the black. Now I'm going to be doing green and yellow and this reminds me so much of like a sprite. I just love this combination so much. Now I'm going to be mixing green and blue and these colors remind me so much of like these baby bottle pops not these baby bottle pops what's it called there's like this sour candy and I just loved it so much whenever my dad took me to Home Depot that's the candy I would always reach for I don't know if you don't know what I'm talking about I'm gonna put a picture
like I said earlier, um, encapsulating is a must when doing marble or ombre or anything like that or else it will get ruined. So I already encapsulated and filed and buffed. That thumb is looking so weird. Like the apex is just like placed weird. But I'm not gonna fix it cause who cares. So I'm gonna put some top coat on and then cure it for like 60 seconds. Also, before I do my nails, is it weird that I go put sunscreen on? Cause I'm scared of the UV light. Yeah, I put sunscreen on, SPF 50 to be exact. So I already cured the nails, now I'm going to add some cuticle oil and I have this strawberry one by Blossom and it smells so good, it smells like candy. These nails look like candy, mm -hmm. but I use some Blossom. Um, I tried some other brands of cuticle oil, I tried um, Your Sugar and I forgot the name of the other brand, but they're just never as strong as Blossom so yeah it's a little bit more pricier than the other ones but it's so worth it it smells so good so these are how the nails turned out comment down below what you think about them follow me on instagram snapchat and facebook and i really need some nail ideas so please please go follow me and dm me some ideas um please please like comment and subscribe oh and also thank you so much for 150 subscribers we're already at 171 but i forgot to thank you guys earlier so bye